side control. A good side control. Um, if his elbow's inside, I'm not going to worry about it so much. But I want to, what I do want to do is connect my hip to his hip, and I want to connect this elbow to his hip. So I always want to control his hips, all right? And I can be straightening this back leg out. The other thing I want to do is I want to kind of torque his head. So I want to kind of like twist his head. That's going to make it hard for him to like oompa or, or, or bridge or anything. Like try to move. Like look, he's kind of stuck here. See this? Even though his, his arm, I don't have control of his arm, I have control of his hips and everything else. So it's going to be really hard for him to move. All right? Now once, once I get control and he kind of settles down, and stops bumping around and moving around. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over the top and I'm gonna trap this arm right above the elbow like this. Okay, notice that my leg switch. Now, my knee come to this hip because I need to block his hip on this side with this knee. So I went from, I went from this position from here and as I turned, I switched my knee and now I'm kind of looking this way. This hand comes here and blocks the hip, all right? Now, I'm gonna come to like a 45 degree angle and I'm gonna start sliding this hand up on his, uh, up under his armpit like this, all right? And I'm gonna reach up and grab his wrist and lock my own wrist. And I wanna have monkey grips right here so my thumbs aren't in, all right? From here, what I'm gonna do is, let's say that, uh, Let's say that he's grabbing onto his gi. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna rip it away. So from here, I'm gonna rip it away from his body and then I'm gonna drive it to the mat just like this, see this? Now, I'm gonna make sure that I get pressure on top of his shoulder. I want pressure on his shoulder. And then I'm just gonna bring his elbow up high as I can, okay? Once I get his elbow up, like almost to his shoulder level or above. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift his elbow and he's gonna tap, okay? So again, I'm in this position. I want the underhook on this side. This underhook's important because if he gets the underhook on me, then he can start spinning out and taking my back and I don't want that. So this underhook is very important. I, and I need this elbow blocking his hip, and my hip is going to block his hip on this side. And then I'm going to kind of just twerk his head a little bit like this. So I'm in a good position. Now, when I go, when, when I get ready to attack his arm, I'm going to switch. I'm going to come over the top, bring this arm underneath his uh, elbow, and, and bring this knee to this hip, right? I'm going to block his hip with this hand. And then I'm going to come around and I'm going to suck this hand underneath his arm. I'm going to go monkey grips. Okay, if I have to, I'll bring my knees in close and I'll grip away and I'll bring his arm to the mat like this. See this? Now, my weight's on top of his shoulder. I'm going to bring his elbow up and both uh, my elbows go to the mat like this. And I'm going to drive his elbow up as high as I can get it. All right? Now from here, I'm just gonna lift his elbow. So I just lift it, keep his hand on the ground. So the higher that I bring his arm up, the more pressure I'm gonna put on to his shoulder. Okay, so I'm gonna show up one more time. I got the underhook, I'm blocking the hip. My hip is blocking his hip on this side, and I'm like this. Okay, when I go to switch, I, 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 the other thing is I want to make sure I, I, I kind of tweak his head. If I don't, he can use his head to bridge off of and start creating problems for me. When I do this, try to do that, look, see, it's, it's really hard for him to move because I got his, his, uh, his, his, uh, his spine out of alignment, all right? So from here, I'm going to switch my arm and bring it over the top. I want to bring my armpit over like just above uh, his elbow if I can. This knee's gonna block his hip. Now, this hand's gonna take the place of that knee. And I'm gonna move almost to like a 45 degree angle. And I'm gonna scoop this arm underneath his arm. Then I'm gonna go monkey grips. 
and then if he's grabbing his gi, I'm gonna rip it off and put it on the mat. And then both my elbows are on the mat here. Now I'm gonna lift his shoulder up as high as I can get it. And once I get it up, I got a lot of pressure on his shoulder. Now I'm just gonna lift his elbow and he's gonna attack. All right? Yes, sir. Got it, ready? Oos. Oos.